Are you going to Mr. Mitch's again today? What else is there to do? <laughs> uh, something wrong? No. Yes. No, it's just... Everyone hates me there. No, they don't. They hate you too. They hate us. Because we're in a stable relationship. And they're jealous of that. They don't even see me as Rhonda, and they don't see you as Bruce. They see us as the same person, some kind of Rhonda Bruce. Well, we, we are always together. I wasn't aware that that was a problem. Maybe you should spend some time on your own, then. We don't have to go to Mr. Mitchell's tonight. I can stay with you, or, or I can go there alone. You'd go there without me? No, not if it would upset you. I want you to look at me. You're beautiful, and I love you. I'm ugly. I'm ugly. You look at other girls. You're beautiful and I love you. You always say that. Why do you have to tell me I'm beautiful all the time, huh? Because you are. You are beautiful. I'm going to keep telling you today, believe it. Believing something doesn't make it true. I'm going to go. What's your name? See, Lily, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I don't want you getting involved with college guys because they're just going to take advantage of you and lead you to heartbreak. Listen to me. Look at me. Don't be mad. I had to leave soon anyway. What do you want? Do you want to give me your number? I'm not hitting on you. I like you too much for that. But you are a woman in serious need of a social life. No offense. None taken. All right, so I am going to give you a number. It's an apartment number. I, uh, oh, okay. Okay, I want you to write down Mr. Mitch, Nightingale Apartments, number 108. Got it? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, happiness? What does that mean? What's the bell is, Bruce? I'll never understand a woman. You and me both, man. But then, I'm an asshole and you used to be a nice guy. Well, you are an asshole. <laughs> I've tried to understand a woman. I've spent so much time with Ron, I practically am a woman. That's true. I just can't seem to make her happy. What you ought to try to do is actually bring her to orgasm. Why don't you fuck yourself? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, do you guys want something to drink? Oh, um... Bottled water, please. And I get a double. Fags. Ah, come on! <laughs> Ow! Jackass. <laughs> yeah, I, sometimes I wish I was another species. You know, like like a bunny or something. <laughs> yeah, I've seen so many women lately. It's driving me nuts. I mean, I need a change of pace. I need bunny sex. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Why don't you go fuck a bunny now? You know, you're a sick bastard, Bruce. I'm not the one with a hard on for the Easter Bunny. Eh. <laughs> Here comes Peter, hot and tail. Shut up, dude! Just drop! Damn it, I'm so horny! Here, here, here! Here's a call for you, sir. 
Hello? I love you. I love you too. Where are you? Home. I miss you. I'll be I'll be back with you soon. Fine. Right after this I'll come home. Are you alright? I'm fine, thanks for asking. I love you too. Who's my kitten? Who's my fuzzy kitten? Who's my fuzzy, sexy, fuzzy kitten of love? I am. Fucking <laughs> 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 You really are an asshole, you know that? Yeah, I know. Anyway, though, congratulations. On what? Yeah, I never thought you and Rhonda would last, but you managed to last long enough to make me sick of both of you. Thank you. Well, you know. You ever cheat on her? Of course not. I have a little bit. You can't cheat on somebody a little bit, you jackass. Ever wanted to? No. You're still a man, right? I mean, you still look at other women. <sighs> Despite what you think, the human male is capable of real monogamous love. Father threw it away, and I thought for a second that you might have. Never mind. What would your mom look like? Well, it's kind of a yellowy, orange red, and it glowed. Sometimes like the sun. It's a strange ball you got. Over everything but you and I I wanna witness the birth of a new star See the light of the moon through the darkness You are able to fly if you try to Just let your heart be the one to guide you Oh, uh, excuse me, I think this is your ball? Yes, thank you <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Bruce, Bruce Tree Hi, I like the... I like the tree. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. Me too. Um, so what do you guys do around here? Drink? You want something to drink? Uh, we have alcohol. No thanks. I have to be going soon anyway. <clears throat> oh, come on, you should stick around. Mm, it'll be fun. Um, we're ordering pizza. It's good pizza. I like pizza. <laughs> oh, shit. Magic? You believe in magic? Yeah. Like, uh, rabbit out of the hat magic? <laughs> no. Everyday magic. Unexplainable things. Um, miracles? I don't know. Maybe there's no evidence to prove it, but I've always hoped that there was something beyond what we could see, and that I was just too stupid to see it. You're not stupid. No, I admit it. I have no idea what's going on in this world, and I want to find out. I mean, aren't we all just a little bit stupid? Don't we go through our lives pretending we know what's going on when really we have no idea? I don't know. Maybe there's like another level to reality, and we need this key to unlock it, and it leads to this world that only the gods know about. <laughs> I mean, have you ever looked at the green of the trees and wondered, where does that brilliant color come from? What does it mean? Sounds like you want to escape reality. No. Well, maybe. <laughs> when I was a kid and, and bad things were happening, I... I just wanted the world to melt away and 
for everything to be happy. I just wanted everyone to forget their problems and start singing or something. <laughs> Everything would be happy, just like a musical. And everyone would know the words. <laughs> Silly when we're kids, huh? So you just wanted everyone to start singing and dancing? Yeah. So what song? And I